We all need access to healthy food. Food insecurity, which is not knowing where your next meal will come from, has been a persistent issue in San Francisco. A report has found that one in four San Franciscans were considered food insecure, and close to one in three are at risk of food insecurity. Based on the cost of housing, transportation, food, and other consumer goods, it takes approximately three to five times the federal poverty level income to provide the basic needs for a family of three in San Francisco. In Bayview's Hunters Point, which our research and site is based in, 37% of residents live on less than 40,000 a year, putting families at risk of food insecurity. It is ironic that people in California would experience food insecurity because over a third of the country's vegetables and two thirds of the country's fruits and nuts are grown in California. Our site is located along Islaus Creek in Bayview Hunters Point. At one point, most of the city tapped into Islaus Creek for drinking water and dozens of small farms used it to irrigate the crops. For more than a century, the small section has been a dumping ground for industrial waste, animal carcasses, and sewage which has completely polluted the creek's soil. This has made it impossible for irrigation and a hazardous environment for all inhabitants. As part of our field research, we met with young activists from White Plan fighting food insecurity and promoting healthy eating. Islaus Creek is a food desert with little to no access to grocery stores in its neighborhood. The students had a very specific yet urgent desires for their neighborhood. They wanted more trees, cooking classes, and healthy food options. Our project addresses these issues on multiple fronts, food education, job training, and food production. We have over 20,000 square feet of rooftop gardens to show children and adults in the community how to grow food. Utilizing the harbor, crops harvested from the rooftop gardens can be shipped by boat across the bay to regional farmer's markets. We host a weekly farmer's market on land and on creek. Additionally, on the ground floor, we have a grocery store and healthy cafes. The second floor has a commercial kitchen and a restaurant where adults train for work in the food industry. Above that, there are business kitchens so that people who want to prepare and sell specialty foods will have the space. On the top floor are kitchens for families to prepare and enjoy home cooked meals. This project may not solve the problem but it will give people tools and resources they need to fight food insecurity.